Kate Collins, and I was really happy to learn that she's nothing like her nasty Natalie character. How about this character? She is a nasty devil, yes, Miss Natalie. Is. Yes, she is. Uh, her methods are not to be admired, I don't think, but uh, I think in her heart of hearts, she's, she's operating from a very human element. She loves something so much. She just doesn't go about it real well. I think she's going to be growing up a lot. I hope she'll be growing up in the future and learning that there are ways to do things and ways to not do things. And In the meantime, you just try to learn from her mistakes. I know I've learned a lot about how to do things, how not to do things. Like what? Well, I mean, I don't think trying to knock off your husband is such a great way of getting what you want. <laughs> not if you get caught. <laughs> not if you get caught. Yeah. Not if you get caught. But, um, you know, she, she tried to do that. She really did try to, to kill him and then regretted it tremendously and was very grateful when, it, when he did not die because of what she did. You come from such a wonderful background with your father, Michael Collins, being a part of the Apollo mission that landed on the moon with Neil Armstrong and, uh, right? And, yeah, Buzz Aldrin, yes. The two of them actually were the ones who did the landing, and Dad waited for them. He was the command module pilot, went round and round. And what waited. was it like being in a family where your dad worked for NASA? It was, it was awfully exciting. I mean, um, we grew up in a community of people who worked for NASA. So I've always thought of it as a, like something of a mining town. Everybody worked within the community, so there wasn't anything too terribly unique about the fact that Dad was an astronaut as a child, because uh, there were lots of them all around. Everybody was, you know, the child of somebody. Any fear involved in your dad being a test pilot? Yeah, that part, that part we were more cognizant of. Um, a lot of men died in between Edwards and, and uh, in Houston as test pilots and uh, you, you grew up with an awareness that when dad left he might not come home that mm. in, in the evening. Um, but that was sort of the way it always was. So you didn't think of it as being odd or strange or different or unique. It was, it was just the way it was. The shuttle Challenger, when we lost that shuttle everyone in this country was devastated but I'm yes. wondering if you and your family didn't feel it even more having been close to it. Well in some senses yes, in some senses no. It was, it was a nightmare come true. It was something that we always imagined might happen no matter if it was the Gemini or the Apollo missions. And it never did happen, aside from the Apollo 1 fire, and that one was not televised, which I think made a big difference mm -hmm. too. So when it happened, it was watching your nightmare. It, it, it sort of didn't matter who was in it. At the time, you, you mourned as if it had been your own, no matter what. So it was devastating, but it was also, I think, uh, um, I had the benefit of being more aware of the fact that something like that always could happen. Have you talked to your dad about that tragedy since it's happened? Very briefly. Dad is, um, there's, there's not much to say. Hmm. There isn't much to say except may they not have died in vain. And God bless them. And, you know, God bless all of us. Let's keep going. How about someone in your life, someone you go home to, a relationship, someone, a commitment, a sense of um, family and marriage for yourself? Mm -hmm. Will you think that'll ever be in your future, or are you very career-oriented? I'm very career-oriented, but I think, I think marriage is a, a good thing, a, a really wonderful thing. It's hard to make it happen in this industry and in this profession. Why? Well, because, uh, I mean, to work on a soap is a very unique situation. It's a very stable day-in, day-out kind of job. That's not usually the kind of career one has, you're either going off to Cincinnati Playhouse or a lot of traveling involved and a lot of not being at home and a lot of insecurity in how long are the paychecks going to roll in and then you're going to go for months or years without them. So it's a very up and down kind of life and it's very hard when there's that much instability, it, it infects everything else mm. and in good ways as well as bad ways you tend to get into relationships and really enjoy them. Whether or not they last, mm. it's it's not as easy to hold on to that. What's the best part of your personal life, Kate? Uh, what what makes you happiest about your life right now, personally? Personally, working has always been very important and makes me happy. And the fact that um, I'm really beginning to to be happy with myself. Mm. You know, I, I like going home and reading my books and unplugging the phone and not feeling that insecurity, that urge to get away from Kate and, and go party with a lot of people or, or always stay busy, 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 that's beginning to calm down. I'm, I really like that. I like a slower pace. It makes me happier. You are truly an actress. You are very different from this character that you play. Oh, very much. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yes. I mean, there are people who have the luxury of really playing themselves, you know? Yes. But you don't. No, 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 no. I mean, Natalie and I have very little in common. Thank the good Lord. Yeah. Very little in common. But um, she's a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun. A, a fantasy, dress up. Yeah. And you get to go be. Here we go. We're about. You're on. It's my, my it's turn. It's your turn. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, Thank Eileen. You. It's very nice. Nice to see you.